it's unbelievable how little genuine encouragement many people need and how and how they had none in my opinion this is the most amazing thing jordan peterson has ever said that paints the perfect picture of what most sigma females go through in life one can argue that sigma females go unappreciated taken for granted and sometimes undervalued due to their minuscule population size of 0.95%, which is no joke. Since strength lies in numbers, they are bound to go unnoticed because of their number, and also because of their weird solitary habits. But using the 80-20% rule one can argue that although Sigma females are the fewest in number, their achievements and successes go far beyond what the ordinary eye can measure. Since the beginning of time, Sigma females have been the flag bearers in the women's world. They have always been that small faction of women throughout history that have achieved and done extraordinary things far beyond the nurturing expectations of every woman. All of this was done solely on goodwill because no one ever said to them and meant it. It's not okay for you to be a weak loser. It's not okay. And the reason it's not okay is because you could be way more than that. And it's a crime, an ethical crime for you to allow all that necessary potential to go to waste. It hurts you, it hurts your family, it hurts the world. Really, really, it does. Why is it difficult for people to genuinely encourage, appreciate, and celebrate Sigma females? The truth is everyone knows that the Sigma female is gifted. They know she is naturally intelligent, and there is no need going above and beyond to appreciate her and show some love that they care because success comes quite easily to them, which is not true. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. This is a fundamental problem that takes its root from childhood and continues to hunt them in adulthood. Instead of celebrating their every success, they tend to internalize and normalize the no celebration vibes people give them for the obvious reason that success is inscribed in their DNA. It is because of this false reality that the Sigma has been forced to live for long that their sense of happiness is deeply rooted in the process and not the outcome. For example, Sigma females find great joy in knowing how to make money and teaching others how to make money than in having the actual money itself. A majority of Sigma females growing up did not have the opportunity to enjoy the luxury of motivation and encouragement because everyone expected them to know the solution to their every problem and no one cared enough to ask if the Sigma had problems of her own she was struggling with. Growing up most of them considered being successful a duty and not a choice because failure was never an option for them. Anyone could fail and go unpunished, but not the Sigma. What if there was a possibility for Sigma females to do better by receiving genuine encouragement? Imagine the paradise you will be living in on Earth if all Sigma females could max out their potential. The truth is Sigma females can never reach their full potential for several reasons. 1. Life is very short. 2. They will become mothers and give up on their dreams to raise their kids. 3. Certain cultural norms and religious propagandas will hold them back from reaching their full potential. One can argue that it is because of lack of proper motivation and encouragement in childhood and the internalization and normalization of success as a duty that made Sigma females who they are which to some degree turn out to be a good thing for them, because the Sigma does not need external validation to follow her passion, neither does she sits around waiting to be told what to do. They are able to keep grinding and keep pushing beyond their limits, because the result of their every milestone mean nothing to them. The process is more rewarding than the end result, so in order to stay happy the Sigma has to constantly be doing something. Hence, the reason why most Sigma females are workaholics. My speculation is that a majority of Sigma females who are coaches, teachers, motivational speakers, consultants, etc. are drawn towards these occupations to satisfy a fundamental need. They are trying to give themselves all the motivation and encouragement they never had, and by sharing the process, they derive a sense of happiness. Likewise, those drawn to the judiciary system. They are trying to punish perpetuators for the injustices they suffered, and in doing so, they find redemption. Whatever job you are doing as a Sigma, some part of your childhood is responsible for that choice. If you dig deep, you might find the connection. Let me know if your job has anything to do with your childhood experiences, or it is merely by chance. Subscribe and watch this video on your screen to know more about Sigma females and how to attract one.